he's, he's a better. winner. He's a king. He's better than all the other greasy, sweaty, fat nerds out there. He's ascended <laughs> to bankruptcy <laughs> and banging girls just out of high school. <laughs> what a king. Do you know how easy it is to impress an 18-year-old? If you even have $10,000 saved in your own car, you can probably bang an 18-year-old. <laughs> They'll be like, holy f shit, this guy can take me to a restaurant? That's <laughs> not McDonald's. You know, holy f he has clothes and his own place to live. Oh. And I don't have to be under my parents' authority and he can just drive me around wherever I want. Like, it's not really that big of an accomplishment there. All Boogie. right, there we got Boogie2988's latest clickbait bullshit. It's always just complain, complain. Well, he's complain. always complaining and he's always clickbaiting. And then he wonders why people don't want to click on his video. And then he's always wrong. Well, he's always full of he's shit. He's always full of shit. So he shit. starts off, goodbye YouTube, why everyone quits. So you go, oh, okay, well, Boogie's finally quitting. Thank he's God. giving up on YouTube to miracle. go get a real job. Whoa, it's a miracle. Yeah. Boogie's applying ah. for a real job because he needs money to live. But no, of course, as always, Boogie is lying to you. He's not Has quitting he YouTube. Has ever made a video that was truthful? I don't think so. Like, seriously, someone in the comments... Because for years, he put on this fraudulent, fake Mr. Rogers. But I'm the nicest guy in the whole wide world. I'm Boogie, and I'm such a victim. And, da, da, da. and then he said he lied about the how much he spent on the prostitutes for the for the documentary. Well, Can't the bottom line is he was like, Oh, guys, guys, it's so tough. I can't retire like all the other YouTubers, even though I've been at it three times as long as a lot of them. Like, the guy's been on YouTube for 15 years. Yeah. Should have been a multi, multi-millionaire yeah. with all the opportunities he had available to him to network with other people. He was on nationally, like, televised programs. Yeah. Like, he was on that uh, Super Fat versus Super Skinny that was in the UK. He was on he, he uh, was TLC welcome shows. He was welcome VidCon. at the Game Awards. Yeah. VidCon. VidCon he'd have speak Every like, other YouTuber speeches. would want to collaborate with him and have them in their video. But he was lazy. He was working with, like, Angry Grandpa and other people. He could have got into game streaming he was had a twitch when it was first taking off and he never utilized it mm -hmm. he never did live streaming you know because it still got him into trouble no he still doesn't even though it could make him money he could have had a patreon and accrued followers to it thousand he could have got several thousand people giving him a dollar or five dollars a month and had an income ten twenty thousand dollars a month from patreon but alone. that would require for him to make Video that would require him to make bonus content just talking about okay, you saw a movie today, and wait, people no, 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 have not, accepted it. Wait, Ash, he did have he does have a boogie, oh, sorry, a Patreon. Boogie does have a Patreon that he goes, Well, if you want to donate, but because I don't you put have anything an ad on it. I don't have anything on he there. He says it's like a guilt Patreon, but if Boogie just did a every time he watched a movie or a TV show just gave five minutes of his thoughts, he would make $10,000 a month yeah. on Patreon. A lot if of every time he played a video game, he did his first impressions on Patreon or chopped up a little review on there. And, it, and maybe just put it early on Patreon. Hey, you get early access. If he provided any value whatsoever, at all, he wouldn't be in this position. If Boogie hadn't hired prostitutes, to the tune of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and buying them dogs and, and prostitutes, flights, like and dates. I, I, I don't know what to say. If Boogie hadn't done all of this shit, then he would be retired like everybody else. But what this is for Boogie is it's cynical. It's like, oh, look at all these guys that are getting to retire. It's and not I've fair. Been, it's not fair. I've been working so much harder than them for so much longer. And then they're just giving it off to other people to run their grift. And I can't do that because I'm Boogie and I'm a big... <laughs> but here's the thing is. So, uh, I'm sure everyone's heard this. Matt Pat from Game Theorist, uh, he quit. Or is stepping down as the voice and sort of like hired a bunch of people, four people, yeah. to be the voice. And, and making now your money... Uh, on the back end, 
because he started it, right? But here's the thing. I've edited these types of videos before. These videos are 40 to 70 hours of work. Of real life. Of, re of scripting, of voicing, of then like you have to like animate and move everything for like a 40 minute video that takes like literally more time than you can even imagine. Late nights, he has a, a wife and a kid yeah. and him and his wife have worked their asses off. When you work your ass off to that level where you have millions and then you hire people to finish it off or, or, or to continue, well, now you could retire, essentially. Yeah. But he's still working in the background. He's not quitting yeah. fully, right? Well, but Boogie, but, on but the other worked. hand, he everything Boogie did was improv. And there's nothing wrong with exactly. that. Exactly. But he did improv. Webcam videos for five webcam minutes. Webcam videos that were five, ten minutes long. And you know what? He still could be doing that content, but he needs to release one to three to five videos every day. Like a quartering. Yes. Right? Talk about what's in the news boom, boom, every day. Boom, Here's boom. the gaming Keep news. Posting. Here's the movie post, news. Post, post, Here's post, my post. review. Here's my thoughts on this. Here's <clears> my <throat> rant about this thing that happened in politics. Just pick a lane. Like, the thing with Boogie is he always just wants to fence it. Yes. He wants to always just say the most safe, inoffensive thing that doesn't offend anybody. And when you're like that, you're not going to have any supporters that are diehard. At all. That are, you got to pick a lane. Are you going to, you know, go to BreadTube? Are you going to go be part of, like, the the angry about Marvel shit? What are you going to do? Are you going to do we video do the, essays? Are you going to do live streams? Yeah, we do the commentary on other YouTubers and people and da -da -da, all that stuff. We picked our... You have to pick a something. lane and pick a side. But he's always like, oh, I don't know. I kind of want to dabble in this sort of thing. Like, what killed me, because I used to watch Boogie regularly... But what killed me is for like a year or more. Yeah. Every upload, or at least three out of every four uploads, was like a loot box unboxing. Yeah. Him showing what's in the loot box this month. And all of that sponsorship money, he didn't save any of it. He blew it all on hookers and drugs and food and shit like this. And that honestly turned me off. And I said, fuck this. I'm not clicking on your videos anymore. It's not what I signed up for. It's not Francis videos. It's not your thoughts on movies or games or on anything. You're just sitting here consuming, but not really because you're not paying for it. You're getting a loot box sent to you every month. Yeah. Hey, look at this cool bottle cap I got. Wow. Oh. This is such riveting content, sir. And, and least, eventually people just stop caring. And at least if he had posted one of those videos, you go, okay, but four out of five of the videos this week is reviews or him playing games or whatever. It's different, right? Yeah. But the thing is, he only stuck to sponsor type videos for a while because he got lazy. Like I, yeah. I used to watch them too. And I'm like, my I used to watch him do you basically what like Moist uh, Critical does yeah. or Mudahar, where it's like they take the big story of the day or something they saw they like and they just rant on it and maybe edit, edit, uh, edit some clips in, right? But then he just stopped doing that. And then he, he like dabbled into hanging out with the, uh, what's his name? That guy behind the camera. Kid behind the Kid camera. Kid behind the camera. So who's like, now it's like fake reality. He just sucks. And it was just videos that were so obviously fake that they weren't even fooling children. Mm -hmm. And they're just not entertaining at all. There's nothing cool to them. There's nothing funny. Uh, and, you know, the style of, like, Angry Grandpa and uh, those old angry... Oh, Jugger Nuggets. They break shit, right? Oh, I broke the TV or I broke the Xbox or whatever. Yeah. They're no longer interesting. Mm -mm. They're no longer... People don't give a shit anymore. So you have to innovate. You can't just stay on the same thing. It'll work for a period of years. It's like Epic Meal Time. Yeah. That worked. And it was the biggest thing in the world for like two, three years. Definitely in like 2010, 2011, 2012. Definitely. But then people are like, okay, well, I've seen you make just about every fast food thing you can possibly make. Yeah. These videos are repetitive and they're stale. And Boogie just never found a way to innovate whatsoever. And so he blames, like, the world for his problems. And it's like, but, bro, the Twitch streaming, you could have went into that avenue. Yeah. And, you know, his whole problem is he's just so afraid like, of we criticism. We do kick streaming. Like, we, yeah. we adjusted and went, oh, we can do a podcast. All right, on kick. 
we have fun. Now it's a clip channel. It's like we keep expanding and changing it up. Him though, he never had an identity though. Ever. That's the problem. Right? Like he should have stuck to, like, to have an identity. Uh, a Chris Stuckman, how he stuck to movie reviews, occasional game reviews, Jeremy Johns, uh, Red Letter Media reviewing bad things. Like he tried to create this almost cult of personality around his victimhood. Yes, that's true. Where it's that's like, true. okay, this is about me being a victim, and it's about me telling the stories of my abuse and my trauma over and over and over. You remember the video where it was like, draw your life? Yeah, that yeah. That people were doing, where it was like, and then I was poor, and then I, I didn't, <laughs> you know. The, he tried doing that for a while, but when you just define yourself as just a victim and pathetic, like people don't want to be like that. Pathetic! You know, Sorry, people want to support people that are either like themselves or the person that they want to be. And if you're just a pathetic loser, the only people that are like you are also pathetic, helpless losers, and they don't have money However, to give you. Ash, I'll, I'll, uh, there is one guy who acts like a sad, pathetic loser, but still has viewers, DVDR. He at least made his thing like- But he chose a lane where it's like, lane. this is the black the pill. The black pill lane. And I have my black pill gospel, and, and it's, it's so old. As f and it's sad. Here I'm gonna do, c cater to a niche. Yes. You have to choose some sort of niche. Where, what's crazy with him is, he didn't even have to choose anything crazy niche like, black pill or pull ideology support hitler game reviews. he could have just done game reviews if he did what angry joe did he would be a millionaire right now oh yeah and angry but he Joe's didn't have it. the effort angry joe for whatever you think about angry joe oh he doesn't deserve it or he's untalented the skits aren't funny whatever he works he put hard. in the work he works he hard. had reviews coming out and it's the same thing the guys that made it were the guys that were consistent nostalgia critic every Wednesday had every a review out for 15 years. Yeah. The only times it ever didn't happen, he literally lost his voice. Yeah. And then he somehow still found a way, I think, with his lost voice to make a review around the style of that he lost his voice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think so. I remember that. You know, like, yeah, this is yeah. how crazy, like, Doug was and just obsessive with it. And he maintained an audience. And it was like, you know, is Nostalgia Critic really good anymore? No, but <laughs> it's people like it. There's an audience for it. He fulfills the demand for it. We grew out of it. But yeah. there is There's still, still kids who like it, though. It's like, okay, well, audience. you might not like cartoons anymore. As you get older, you might go, oh, this cartoon is too childish. Or like, maybe you're just tired of it. You're yeah, not, you get sick of it. You know what I mean? Well, think about this with Angry Joe too. Not only was he doing reviews, he added to his plates, a uh, uh, spinning plates. He was first Twitch. Was reviews, then it's the uh, Twitch, and then it was uh, the news show with yes. uh, uh, other Joe and Alex. And movie reviews. And then movie well. reviews. So boom, he had boom, boom. uploads coming constantly and consistently. Because before it was just once a week, yeah. and then it was like twice a week. Then and now like, he has Alex, you know, when he can't get around to doing a review, Alex does the rapid fire review. And I like Alex. And so he's properly yeah. utilized the people that he had around him that were his friends in real life who weren't going to snake him. They weren't going to upstage him and stuff like this. And he properly utilized everything. Boogie just f***ed up yeah. terribly. Yeah. You know? But now, oh, poor me. Everyone else is getting to retire. But here's the thing is, like, even with the clip channel we're doing here, Right? And our show and all that stuff. We're putting in like 10 hours a f***ing day. We don't slack. And the more consistent we've been, what happened, Ashton? The views up. The more successful the up. clip channel the, was. We have 1,800 viewers on kick. It's like, with the work, when we slack off, what happens? It Dude. goes down. And now we're motivated to keep working, right? This guy... He has you know, not learned. I, I'm not saying it's easy to be it's consistent. It's not easy. It's very especially tough. Especially with like content creation and being creative. And burning out and stuff. You, you either burn out or you're trying to force it and be pat and the audience can tell you're not really passionate about certain things. Yeah, true. But you know, Boogie is supposedly so passionate about videos. What's crazy is there was a whole tabletop genre on YouTube. Yeah. That blew up 
why Boogie never hopped on that trend of tabletop? Oh my god, you're when right. When he was like so into tabletop, board games, Dungeons and Dragons, about the new rules, Magic the, the new Gathering, characters, the new whatever. He could have been involved in all of that, but instead, like he never jumped on. He, ne he never jumps on to the so trends true. when they present themselves to him, and they're actually something that he could be genuinely passionate about. It's not like he's just hopping on a trend. You know, people look at him, they go, yeah, I believe you're a f the guy that plays tabletop. It's not like Chad Thunder just strode in. Yeah, Dungeons and Dragons! Slay the Orc! Like, no. Somebody like me or Boogie, okay, f holy shit, I believe you, pal. Well, they see what we're doing and they go, yeah, these two are assholes. I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> like, can somebody get this guy some moisturizer for <laughs> sake? Like, if you look, like, you just see, like, all the flakes of dandruff his hair is completely why is this happening? there's no reason for this <laughs> there's just no reason at all for it oh. to be that scuffed and what and like there's all the too. flakes of gray in it and shit with 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 him right he was the first guy ever to create a genre based on having a girlfriend yeah that no one cared about no, but it's it's like he knows right well how the internet works and that people are going to make fun of his girlfriend, harass her, harass her family, he has cause haters. problems. He knows right well. He just doesn't give a f He's yeah. just grifting off of her. And it's not about the real relationship for him. Grift. It's not about loving her. It's about appearing to be cool. Like he has a girlfriend. He gets all this despite how fat he is and look at yeah. me i have this 18 year old girlfriend and it's about creating this disgust emotion and no one gives a f about his girlfriend other than the people who are grossed out about it who are creeped out they're like i don't <laughs> like can you stop posting this this is like borderline pedophilic it's freaky well, she's they... like got all sorts of mental illnesses Wait. and you're taking advantage of her well, didn't they lose like uh a sponsor for the lol cow podcast yes because, because of the of... creepy pedophilic nature of his like santa spiel we covered that on the show, and it was disgusting. He's like, let, let me just lean into this pedophile act. What? What's wrong with you? I'm sure that will sell some meta PCs. Definitely going to sell PCs there. Like, Oh, man. All right, there we go. That's it. Like the title says. After seeing all of my favorite content But it's creators. so obviously fake. Yeah. Like, from the very beginning, you can't even believe that this is real. Does, there is not a single comment that went, Oh, thank God! I really thought you were quitting. It's like, this guy's a Everybody knows you're not quitting. This guy's a liar. Click. Yeah. Let's watch. You know? Finally quitting YouTube. I've determined that after 17 years... By the way! By the way! 17 years. By the way, I wish it were real. Yeah. I was like... Please don't be sarcastic. Long years. I'm going to leave. I'm going. Uh, hold on a second. He doesn't even try and Hello? milk it for a few minutes. Like, if you're making this video and it's going to be, gonna be fake or and fake, bullshit yeah. or whatever, like, go two or three minutes on like a monologue and like, you know, these were my fondest memories and I'm going to miss doing this for you guys. Yeah. And, and then. Put uh, Bizing. Yeah. So you're, you're tears. like, there's tears and stuff. Like, really milk it. He gives us all of 15 <laughs> seconds before his phone rings to give up the ghost and, like, the gag. And it doesn't even make sense from an algorithm perspective because you want people to keep watching the video. For at least 30 seconds. Yes. So at half of that time, at 15 seconds in, he gives up the jig. It's like... Okay, why should I continue watching this if I sincerely believed that you were quitting? You just made me feel like an idiot, and you didn't even do it in a cool or funny way or yeah. entertaining in any way. And by the way, he's using, like, the worst sound effect for a ringtone. It, well, it's not, like, it's not actually, like, he couldn't just tell his girlfriend, Hey, can you call actually my call? iPhone? Actually call me? Let me take this. This is my account. Hold on a second. Let's watch this. Hello? Let me take this. This is my account. One second. Oh, yes? 
What do you, what do you mean I can't afford legal? But like, couldn't we have a voice for the accountant, like of, uh, dabbing on him, like being like, actually, listen, because man, you boogie, wasted you're a all piece this of money on, you know what I mean? You need to work. What you do need you mean to work. You can't quit your bum. Something like that could have been funny, and he could have like embraced the hate or the memes. Where he goes, well, you spent two hundred and fifty thousand on sex workers, so you can't it, retire. Yeah, exactly. Something like that, but instead, it's just the stupid Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown, like fake ass cartoon bullshit. It's not funny. Yeah, it's not endearing. It's, it's not cute. It's just stupid. It makes me mad, actually. Yeah. Oh, so I don't have millions of dollars saved up, right? And I don't have a huge back catalog of videos that are still being served in the algorithm. Pause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> snarky bullshit yeah. where it's like oh. well you know but if my videos were still being served in the algorithm and it's not fair youtube doesn't service my 15 year old videos in the algorithm of fat guys eating because there's mukbangs that do it better like but the thing get is, a grip matt pat's game theorist videos which i like a lot of them he m makes new ones but still they hook people in with watch time most of Boogie's old videos are like a minute or two long. Yeah. They're not being served anymore. They have a lot of profanity in them, which YouTube doesn't like, well, and mature themes in them anymore. Skits. It's like, well, I've been screwed. Skits aren't the thing anymore. No. I don't watch skits. But it's care. like a prank YouTuber being upset that that's not being serviced anymore. Yeah. And it's like, well, that was the meta like eight years ago, pal. Yeah, now it's like podcasts. Uh, video game and movie breakdowns, yeah. long form essays. video essays. You know, I'm watching this one video, FF6 retrospective. It's five hours long. I'm four hours in, and I love it. Yeah. And now I'm being recommended all these other essays and shit. But YouTube is your employer. I'm not watching skits. This is the thing, though. If YouTube is your employer, like with any job, you have to do what your employer wants you to do. Yes. That's the thing, right? If you're going to make YouTube your job, uh, you got to do what YouTube wants. So if YouTube says, well, we want long form content, we want more watch time, we want stuff that's more suitable to advertisers, we don't want, well, then you're going to have, you but still want to work the Francis video. Well, that's not going to work anymore because you decided to work for YouTube. Now, if you had built your own dedicated fan base based on a niche, you might have been able to collect super chats and live streaming and told these services to shove it or whatever, but you can't. You have to do, because you're about YouTube ad revenue and that's your primary source of income, yeah. you have to do what YouTube wants to maximize ad revenue. Well, that destroys the soul of my creation. As if these videos have much artistic merit to begin yeah, with. Yeah, it's not like a David give me, Lynchian style. Give me a break. Style, you know what I mean? the soul of my craft. Look, if Boogie was doing uh, game dissection videos that took well, hundreds Boogie of hours to edit. Well, Boogie was doing short films. Bo like, like, imagine, Boogie was making, like, short film, like, horror movies. But even about, no, I'm saying, if he was doing something the algorithm wants... Yeah. Like a game dissection video. It took him 80 hours to edit. And then was bitching, I lost my... I'm like, okay, I feel bad. Yeah, yeah that sucks. But you're not. You're, you're releasing four minute videos the of you walking effort, in the woods. Yeah, the lowest effort stuff you can possibly do. And you can't even Where he doesn't even day. want to give a strong opinion. I know. If it's the lowest... You can post 10 low effort shit like things a day if you really want to maximize views. But you won't even do that. No. Uh huh. Oh, and I'm not just handing the channel off to somebody else so that they can continue to make me money. But that's but you know Matt how Pat he's like for condescending that. down to Matt Pad and Meat Canyon and those all these other Canyon guys. and stuff. Oh, they're actually just handing it off to other people. They're rich capitalists, and I'm a broke t bum who never figured out how to build an enterprise. So uh, I guess uh, I'm gonna cry. But you know, it's bullshit. Like what an asshole. By the way, yeah, for what we do here on this channel too, right? We have an editor, right? Yeah. We were smart. We go, all right, pay this editor, da da da. We do this, that, and then it's not like him. He doesn't have no one editing for him, no help, because he spent all his money instead of making money and reinvesting it on a background, better cameras, better quality, an editor help. He got a 
18 year old girlfriend and flew her out. Why doesn't he just get a guy that comes up with ideas for videos for him every day? Seriously. If you can't come up with ideas or a direction, hire a guy who will tell you, okay, I think you should do this, 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 and this today. And if it's working with him after 90 days, you keep going. If not, you try and get in a new writer. Like, well, I don't know. I don't get it. We if tried you need help, it didn't like, work. You move on. Okay, yeah. we'll try this, this. Okay. And then we have someone who actually if works. If you and need like, help, get help. If, but, you know, he's just lazy. and He just doesn't care. If he got someone that went like this, look, you can get 15% of the ad revenue. But you have to tell me what to film and you'll be a manager on the channel and you'll have to upload for me and make thumbnails and shit. You'll find someone. Oh, you'll yeah. You'll find someone tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But you don't want to do that because you want to pay for your 800 streaming services. You want to pay for four fast foods a day for three people in the house. Hmm. Well, I'm excited to announce that unlike everybody else, I'll be staying on YouTube. The hardworking people. <laughs> oh, no. Get, so by the so way, much, get yeah, a job. If he's so sad and he hates doing this, it's like, well, why do I want to watch you if you hate what you're doing and you you have no passion you're for forced it? You're forced to and make you're just, videos. You're forced to make videos? Well, it was supposed to be a hobby to begin with. It yeah. wasn't... When this stuff started, there was nobody thinking it was actually going to be a career. Seven or, years, no money. Yeah. I did this for yeah. seven years for no money. You know, that's the way it was. And now it's like, oh, I have to do this. It's like, no, bro, you could, like, go get a normal job. <laughs> You could go on welfare, disability, you could f There's a million things. You could go f***ing be homeless in the street. Nobody's forcing you. I mean, you could start shooting heroin. <laughs> Nobody's forcing you to make YouTube videos for a living. Ooh, You're actually video. privileged and lucky enough to be able to make YouTube videos for a living. There's a lot of people who have been banned from YouTube, demonetized. People who did have talent that just never made it. Or who really would like drug addicts yeah. or... But here he or is, still passion, has an audience. Or yeah. lost the passion. But here he is, still has an audience, still has a channel, still has an opportunity to make thing of himself. Just had a big documentary with millions of views and buzz surrounding him. Can't capitalize on any of it. Can only cry about how, what other people have and be envious. Well, didn't he say he was going to stop bitching like last week? Oh, I know. Or two weeks ago. Oh, but this isn't bitching. This is just him calling out the evil of Matt Pat. But Meat Matt Pat. Like, I would watch a They're Matt Pat video, and I'd go, this must have took forever. They're greedy and evil. Oh, my gosh. If you were paying any attention, though, uh, you're going to notice that a ton of YouTubers have started off 2024 by just quitting. Either quitting what they're doing or quitting altogether. Most notably, and as of the recording of this just today, uh, we saw Matt Pat hit the eject button. The dude is done and by the way I he's, he's still, done he's still in the background managing four people but now he just can't spend he has kids what? now what? he can't be up all night to find but why does editing. he have to he's a billionaire it you know Pay he's people. already made enough money to be able to walk away from this which most people like nobody cries when engineer steve Saved up enough to retire at 55 or 60. Oh no, Engineer Steve, how evil. He left the company because he made enough to retire. But I formed a parasocial relationship with someone's content, so I'm entitled for them to continue working for me forever. That doesn't make sense. It's so dumb. I saw some snarky guy on Twitter say, that "What is every YouTuber feel the need to announce that they're leaving?" Everyone feels that need, dude. What? Have you never I been don't to know, a retirement? Like, I they don't have to, but why wouldn't they? When they're gonna rake in another five thousand dollars <laughs> off of the video anyway. <laughs> it's like Matt Pat made videos for like ten years. It's been for his life. His life in YouTube. And then he's going to change to new voice people. Yeah, why wouldn't he go? Hey guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be leaving, by the way, just so you all know. And Boogie's now, now, like, after being snarky. No, but Boogie's whole thing is like, 
oh, but haven't you been to a retirement party or whatever? I mean, my argument is a lot more simple. Why wouldn't they cash in on the ad revenue yeah. by announcing their yeah. leaving? Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know. Retirement party? Have you never put in your two weeks notice at your job? If you left your mom's basement, you'd hear about these things. Trust me. Then you got other guys. Like, you've got Boogie. You're almost homeless. Boogie hasn't worked a real job in 20 <laughs> years. But why is he complaining about, like, you live in your mom's basement? You're almost homeless. I know. You can't be, like... But by the way, like, your target audience lives in their mother's basement. Like, the people that are like you... Right? Know, who love nerdy shit or whatever are the ones that are characterized as living in their mother's basement, whether it's true or not. So why go after the people who are like you? It doesn't make any sense. He's like, have sex, incel. It's like, but but sir, like, do you see that you're a 400 pound, like, <laughs> behemoth? Well, he has a girlfriend like, now. Oh, he's, he's a better. winner. He's a king. He's better than all the other greasy, sweaty, fat nerds out there. He's ascended to <laughs> bankruptcy. And banging girls just out of high school. <laughs> what a king. Do you know how easy it is to impress an 18-year-old? If you even have $10,000 saved in your own car, you can probably bang an 18-year-old. <laughs> They'll be like, holy f shit. This guy can take me to a restaurant? That's not McDonald's. You know, holy f He has clothes. And his own place to live. Oh. And I don't have to be under my parents' authority. And he can just drive me around wherever I want. Like, it's not really that big of an accomplishment there. If you have any sort of, like, social ability or ability to manipulate situations and manipulate a naive basic child. Like, this is basically a f***ing child. It's a female that's 18 years old, like... <laughs> I'm a king. No, you're not, pal. Oh. like Tom Scott, who, I mean, his videos are absolutely fantastic. And animators like Papa Meat, who just, oh my God, top of their game. They're going out on top. But why are they quitting? Wait, when wait, you wait. first started. Pause, pause, pause. Papa Meat. Okay. <clears throat> he has a second channel that he's still doing. He meant his main channel five minute every bi-weekly like the, the, the animation stays Listen, so long what, but, it but he still has a, a daily thing, channel it does it no longer makes business sense for him to make these animations when it doesn't make when sense his second channel makes way more money because they're longer videos he's having he's to put talking. in effort for nothing yes versus doing no effort but and getting are, a bigger reward don't hate the player hate the game this, this is this is what it is he literally we're in that like thing and it, you should do it for the passion and love of the game. Well, why don't you do it then? Yeah, why aren't you doing why it? Why aren't you making art for free for people? Don't you bitch about money all the time? Making YouTube videos, you are driven by one thing, and that is hope. Hope that you can create a career out of it. Hope that you will entertain people. Hope that you can make something amazing. But when you quit your job and make YouTube a full-time gig, you're motivated by a whole other thing. And that's fear. Fear that you're going to earn enough money to survive doing it. When I, you... I don't even know, man. That's a d dumb statement. Fear. You're motivated by fear. Like, well, the thing any... is, you're motivated by fear at any job. Any job. And also, when you are you own your own business that's not even YouTube, you're still, it's like you're your own boss. You have to set your alarm. You don't get in trouble when you're late. Yeah. But you lose money, and that's fear. Like, yeah. Fear is the sense of having the fire under your ass. Yeah. Which is good. But you It makes you, you, you work. Need, you need that though. Like, but you also have the motivation to aspire for more. More subs. To reach your goals. Whatever more they might channels, be. More channels, more employees. It's like, it's horrible. This. It's so oh, bad. Fear. And it's like, well, there are aspects to it that are difficult, but every job has aspects that are difficult. Yeah. And I'll just tell you, you chose to be a YouTuber for a reason. Yeah. And you're not hurrying to go back to that nine to five, are you? <laughs> it's true. Yeah, exactly. Are you? Like, you're just in a rush. Oh, my God. I just got to get back to that nine to five. I just got to get back to someone else telling me what to do. I just, I, you know, if Boogie was really like that, that's what he would do. But no, you're doing this for a reason. So shut up. Ooh, it's so hard. 
you choose to make the thing you love your job, it can be a good thing, but most YouTubers who become their own boss find themselves in this self-made hell where they're constantly pushing it's a themselves. Hell. I love it. I love making money streaming and doing what we do. Because you want to know why? When I was a butcher, that was a hell. I was there covered well, in water at the end of the night after washing and scrubbing I mean, the floor. Everything that is, it's called work, work for a reason. It's called like, work. You know, you don't necessarily enjoy, I enjoy this more. Yeah. Oh, but you know, dude. like I would sooner be watching movies or whatever. I know. Like, by the way, when I edit a video and I'm there for two, three hours, I, I get like, Oh man, I'm getting burnt out, but I gotta finish this shit, right? I mean, there are people it's who not would say like, like I, I'd love to I'm have sex, on sunset. and then when they become a porn star or whatever, suddenly it then becomes a chore to have sex with beautiful yeah. women six times a day. You're like, oh man, I'm not, I can't c until the money shot. And <laughs> I gotta keep my card this whole time. Like there are challenges to everything. It's like, yeah, it's it's not the. Uh, it's work. It's, that's what it is, Boogie. To make more money, to make better content, to hire more people, to expand, to get bigger, to just feed that old crazy algorithm that makes us all insane. And here's the crazy thing about being a YouTuber. If you do more work, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll make more money. If you work at a normal job with a wage or even a salary, and most of the time well, you that's do the overtime, trade -off, you'll bro. probably get extra but the pay. thing is if you're entertaining but there's an ability to make exponentially more money like more money than you could ever make working at mcdonald's well, what he's like, saying is if you if yeah, you, you work a lot but look if you just but there's a difference suck. though but there's a difference though like okay so you put in this work at mcdonald's you're gonna get x amount you're gonna get 15 dollars an hour for that work yes now you put in work making a youtube video uh, you might get an immediate return of zero dollars. But if you blow up in the algorithm, then suddenly that video blows up and does tens of thousands of views, you see a return on that. Yeah. Or if somebody watches that video or that stream and then goes, oh my God, I'm a lifelong fan, starts donating $10 a month, it's not all an immediate reward. If you build a back catalog on Gumroad like we're doing, for instance, well, the clip channel. you don't instantly see money coming in. But then when somebody signs up for it and goes, oh my God, there's 5,000 hours here. I'm never going to get through all this. I'm going to stay subscribed for years. That's where the payoff comes. Yeah. So Boogie is just like- Also, my, with, like mental mind with YouTube, you, you can check our social blade. Check anyone's social blade. When someone's posting a lot and it's quality, subs go up, views go up, money goes up. It's like, it's like the algorithm, what makes it beautiful is it's not only luck. There is luck involved, but it's also a math that always just makes sense. You post, you keep posting, it goes up. Yeah. You stop posting, it goes down. Boogie stops posting for nine days. Yeah. I wonder why the algorithm went down. If you post every day, I wonder why it's going up. Hmm. Well, I mean, listen. Now, if, luck is involved, yeah, obviously. But if you also, like, I did four years where I didn't make any money. But for, during that time, I was building a fan base that was emotionally invested in me. Yeah. To the point where when I did start to make money, they wanted to spend money. And then me and or you, whatever. I had my people, you had yes. your people, and we combined forces. You know, this isn't, like, rocket science. <laughs> like, I don't know why Boogie's, like, oh, it's so hard. Well, you know... Doing this is hard, bro. Like working at McDonald's, I couldn't do it. Yeah. I would die. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't make it you through could, day one. You could probably do it. No, not It'd in the top. shape I'm in It'd now. Be top. It'd be tough. You know? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Hey, but on YouTube, you spend that extra time making more videos and that video gets demonetized or doesn't perform well in the algorithm or your audience just doesn't like it, you'll probably end up earning less money. That's oh, what you no. see in the case Whoa. of the like it, you won't make as much money. Whoa. Wait, here, oh, God. Welcome to the entertainment business. Welcome to reality. If you're a stand-up comic and, no and you one go laughs. up there and you get booed or no one likes you or no one laughs, they don't hire you for the main show or for an opening act. You make a shitty YouTube video, guess what? People don't watch it. Ooh.
Oh my god! He, he's gone from making these really intense, incredible animations to doing commentary videos instead. And the reason's pretty obvious. With the But people watch it. And guess yeah. what? I watch a five, mat, uh, five minute Meat Canyon video. It's this much watch time. You watch a Papa Gut, which is the same dude, on his second channel, every day for 20 minutes. Think of the watch time. Even yeah. if the video gets one tenth of the but, videos, you know he still got it adds up. But he still got rewarded for making those animations because that's why over. people care about what he has to say in the first place. Exactly. But now he's come to the point where he's established himself. He's like, look, I have like two hundred animations here. This is my body of work. I'm still gonna maybe do the odd one when I Once feel like while. passionate about it. But the reality is I can pay my bills doing this and that's what I'm going to do. It's easier for me to do it. So I'm going to do it and there's a greater reward. Oh, well. And, and he can oh. focus on what the greater reward is. He can now put his full focus on the second But it's title. like, oh, the artistic merit. It's not like Boogie has ever had any artistic merit. At all. So it's just not even a real argument that he can make. The reason he failed is because he never actually tried to be successful. <laughs> he just yes. expected to be successful. He, like he, he has like an entitlement video. that he's like a king, and that pe like people should watch him just because he is boogie. Yeah, but that's not how it works. Yeah, we 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 do a show on kick right before it's split up into to a to a uh, like a, 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 a clips. We have to literally watch hours of garbage and clip yeah. it before it's a segment. Yeah. So what you watch, do you think the, the Ralph segment is just funny on its own? No. You gotta take 10 minutes of a four hour show. There's work involved. We don't just expect people to watch us and go, you guys are funny or you guys rule, but everything you're watching stinks. The amount of time and effort it took to make one of his animations, he can make like a million commentary videos. Com exactly. Yeah. Complete with sponsors, by the way, so you absolutely know that low effort content is going to make him more money. I mean, if we learned anything in 2023, we learned that the algorithm by likes the way. it. But isn't that better by for the way. creators that they have to put in less no, effort? It, like, it, even, it, but even if better. the audience prefers low effort slop, then let them have but slop. It's not slop. Here's the thing is, when I'm picking a video at night to watch, when I'm doing something, I don't look for five, 10 minute videos. I go, I, I'm looking for two hour, three hour videos. Okay, that's 10 minutes, nah, 20, eh, 30, okay. An hour, perfect. Now I'll play my video games while li like listening to this sh this uh, uh, essay, this podcast, this, 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 that. I do watch a lot of five and 10 But you watch videos. a lot of long videos too. Yeah, I do watch long form videos. I, I don't know, I guess I watch a lot less videos than I used to. True. But a lot of the stuff I watch, like DBDR is between 10 and 40 minutes. That's still good though. Yeah, like the Angry yeah. Joe show review, if I'll watch that, it's like 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. You know, but back in the day, I'd like the 10 minute rant videos and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with a, a video of any length so long as it's actually good. Good, yes. Uh, but, you know, Boogie is like crying of, oh, well, the system is evil now or whatever. Well, but, you can always walk away from it. But look, so like Angry Joe, I watch Angry Joe too, right? But he posts like 20 minute, 30 minute videos. But the thing is he posts almost every day. I can expect a video every day. Meat Canyon, I gotta wait four months per video? Yeah. I want, like, all right, like, I appreciate that. I really do appreciate that type of art. But when I'm like subscribed to a YouTuber, I want a lot of content. Like if it's like once every five months, a Crobe Cat video. I love Crobe Cat twice a year. I, I look forward to that. I make popcorn for his videos, but do I watch them every day? No, I watch someone who posts every day or someone who posts long videos once a month. It just depends how much content you need to consume or want to consume. If you're working 60 hours a week and you have no time, then you're only gonna watch maybe one or two videos a day and then you can be more selective about, okay, I'm only gonna watch Chrome Cat or I'm only gonna watch <laughs> yeah, so and so. Yeah, yeah. But you know. But the whole point of but this with, is, you know, Boogie's crying. He's just lazy he just and he just cries. Yeah, he's just like, 
Okay, my content should be watched. Why? Because you cry for seven minutes? Make a 40 minute video of you crying. I bet you will get more views. I know. <laughs> And we do basically what Sniper Wolf does. So I think Meat Canyon oh, and everyone no, else should just go the on. the evil of Sniper Reaction Wolf. Reaction video. Ooh. Well, how that. is what Boogie's doing any better than that? Like, for real. Like, honestly. I mean, like he the may as well just do React content. If you're doing React content and you genuinely have an opinion to the content you're reacting to. Be fair, to, though, she doesn't react that I don't no, know. I know she does. She's like the but, worst of them. But he's but literally I know what you're just saying. like the, I know he's what you're like saying. the in class dunking on the more kid. It doesn't change the fact you're still a. <laughs> oh look, this one is slobbering into a bucket. I don't <laughs> slobber into the bucket. <laughs> Good for you. Map, uh, uh. We see somebody who actually loved what they were doing and kind of hates quitting. But what he said he didn't like was the infinite amount of work that he was doing because he became his own boss. And that's a very dangerous thing. When you're a motivated oh, person with- How dangerous it is if you're actually motivated, you will do lots of work. Yeah. Boogie would never know about said dangers because he has no motivation. Well, and that's why you're broke at 52, son. The ambition and you like working, oh my God, it's all you'll ever do. And Matt's in a really safe position. He's like too, pretending he owns... like that's him, but it's not. <laughs> multiple channels, multiple companies, and he's leaving people in charge of those things yep. so that, you know, he can continue to make money while hopefully taking a well-earned rest. I have no bad blood for Matt. Matt, enjoy it. You deserve it. In the case of But Tom you're Scott, jealous he... and you're crying yeah, and feeding. Yeah, I know. Why isn't it me, though? Why couldn't somebody... it be me? Look, I like Matt, but why not me? They were the huge back catalog that will continue to be fed by YouTube for years to come because they are in that edutainment sphere that YouTube loves so much. And Tom... Look at the way he says that, like, that YouTube loves... Wait, maybe you should have picked something that YouTube loves, <laughs> I guess. Tom was hiring tons of people, making incredible videos, and traveling across the world to get it done on a weekly basis. I can only imagine how burnout that guy has to be. Again, deserve your break, Tom. Enjoy. All right. Then there's the interesting case of Joel Haver, who has been making weekly comedy videos for a long time, and he's decided to go a completely different route with it. Joel decided that he's not motivated by anything other than his own creative desire, so he stopped making weekly comedy videos and is now going to make monthly feature-long films. That's a crazy person, but I love that kind of crazy. But I think... Is well, it's... Like, it's not even a real opinion that he has. <laughs> That's a crazy. I love that type of crazy. But it's not. If he's making four videos a month, but now making only one but longer one, it's the same shit. Like, Boogie, it's called effort. Yeah. That's crazy. Not really. All of these YouTubers have one thing in common. I think when they started their careers, they started with hope. And I think as they're ending their careers or changing what they're doing, they're changing it with hope. These creators no longer feel the fear of feeding the algorithm or fear of feeding their families or- Because they've made the money. They could do it. You can't. They don't the, feel a fear. The well, thing when is, you have 18 million in your account. I mean, Boogie really shouldn't even be afraid because he's gonna die before he runs out of money anyway. Let's go. I'm kidding. <laughs> Paying the people that work for them. They are hopeful that their next oh, project man. can do all of that. But without five minutes of boogies, five minutes too long. No, man, to want it from them, they now have and deserve. The He's just freedom repeating that himself. With their <laughs> this is why he can't make long videos because yeah. it's the same wealth and with their success. All right, and they deserve all right, boogie. We got you, bud. I know everybody's dream is to be, you know, a successful YouTuber like Matt Pat or Meat Canyon or Joel Haver or Tom Scott, but it's not everybody's dream to do the work it took them to get there. I mean, just. Wow. Whoa. It's like, a lot is of people like want self... to be Jack, but I don't see a lot of people wanting to lift heavy ass weights. It's just like the same. Whoa, <laughs> look, I got a truism, here? guys. I know. Is he self-reflecting? Let's take a look at how burnout and miserable Mr. B says he is in every single interview you'll see. I, I bet 2024 is the year that he sets down the camera. I don't, no. think, so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mr. I think Beast. he's got at least another five years. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah. he's f making so much money. It's just stupid. He gives $100,000 to people randomly for fun. Yeah. 
Like, Mr. Beast videos are wild if you've ever seen them. Second. But the takeaway here is you should expect to see a lot more successful YouTubers bowing out and or at least changing the way they do things in 2024. You're going to see a lot of millionaires decide to work a bit less. I hate Mr. Beast, you know. Really? You don't like him? No. I have no opinion on him, to be honest. I just don't like him. I don't like people that make charitable acts. Their whole like. Oh identity. yeah, yeah. Well, I think you're saying. I'm yeah. giving this money to so and so. I like his Squid just... Game video was interesting. Yeah, I mean when he did the Squid Game video, I liked that. I liked the the Willy Wonka factory recreation. Yeah, yeah, he had some um, good ones. But you know, I know you're saying like the whole like. It's just like wow, I'm, I'm going to change your life because I'm such a good person, and I don't really have a personality of my own. I'm just a generic nice guy. I'm such a nice guy. I don't like. You know that what? At We're all. gonna start a logging Mr. Beast. Write in the chat if you want us to start a logging Mr. Beast. <laughs> Building water. Uh, wells with for wells Africans. In Africans. Imagine Boo. helping. A lot of us do YouTube. It's fun and goofy and still quite hopeful. But to create the high quality content that they made, to get the views they got, to make the money they made, that's a soul crusher. And I wouldn't wish it on anybody, not even my worst enemy. Have you ever been roofing? Have you ever worked at a, uh, any job that ever in the world? Yeah. It's all soul crushing. Yeah. Work stinks. Making videos is the worst job in the world. Tell that to, to the child slaves in Africa oh, yeah. who, who made this phone. Tell that to the guys out in the sun laying bricks. Yeah. Oh. I wouldn't wish. And then their back blows out at 45 and they're felted on disability, can't work. He just said he wouldn't wish, wish on his worst enemy the fate of MatPat. Oh. I'm like, this is crazy. This is lazy on a whole other level. <laughs> but God bless you guys and thank you for the content. I know most of us, if we had put in their work, had their money and were in their position of life, you'd probably do the same thing. I'd like to think I would probably go the Meat Canyon route or the Joel Haver route and just change the way I do it and try to have more fun with it. Though I imagine- Matt Buddy, had think of you right now. If I was not a lazy piece of garbage you cried on, on videos oh, all the time, I maybe I would do it this way. Like, That's living his dream of being a family okay. man right now. And that seems pretty damn good too. Having watched all of these retirement videos, I'd like to think the lesson to be learned here is fairly simple. The fun is in the journey and not the destination, right? Oh, it's Wait, what do you mean? Cliche. The destination's the fun part yeah. because you've made <laughs> like, I just I thought you just said all that work was the a nightmare. But he has to give us a cliched idiom to tell us like oh, how it's got to right. be. Guys, well, that's I've had enough. What we think That's uh, Boogie2988's goodbye YouTube video. It was garbage. And he needs to stop crying and whining. Yeah. And seething. All right, guys. We'll see you all later. Peace. Well, what about the